How to use Jira software. Hello and welcome to our channel. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the Jira software. So make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss any important steps. So if you need to create accounts on Jira, you can use my affiliate links in the description below. I'll earn a small commission at no extra cost to you and you might also receive rewards or discounts by signing up through these affiliate links. So without further ado, let us begin. So once you're in the Jira website, which is atlassian.com slash software slash Jira, what we can do now is just simply create an account. So in their homepage right here, you could just simply create an account right here just by adding your email right here, or you could just continue with your Google account or Microsoft account. So for me, I'll just continue with my Google account. Afterwards, it will now ask you for your website. So you could just simply name your site to anything you like. So I'll just name it as, there you go, Gabriel Freelance Act. So there you go. And then since the site is taken, let's just add some numbers. There you go, 123.atlassian.net. So just simply click on continue. And then there you go. So afterwards, it will now ask you to select a template to get started. So you can use any template right here in using the Jira software. So you can either choose a Kanban template, a project management template, or a Scrum template. So feel free to choose on what kind of template you want to use. For me, I'll just start with the Kanban template. So since this one is the most easiest to understand. So I'll just click on continue right here. And then here you go. We are now in our project. So here it will ask us, welcome, your first project is ready to kick off. So it will now ask you to name your project. So I'll just name this as my first project as an example. So there you go. And then it will ask you, how familiar are you with Jira? So you can choose not familiar, somewhat, or familiar. So for example, I'll just choose somewhat. There you go. And then just simply click on get started. There you go. Next, it will ask you, what types of work do you do? So these form the building blocks of your project. So you can add like a feature right here. So it's a broad piece of functionality. You can add tasks, stories, bugs, and etc. So as an example, I'll just add tasks. There you go. Next is, I'll just click on next. And then there you go. So next is, how do you track your work? So let's say this project right here is about uploading videos. So in our first section right here, let's just add video ideas. Next is to do. Next is in progress, in review, and done. So once you're done, just simply click on finish. And then there you go. So first, we'll be redirected here in our list view. So if you want to change your views, just go to the left side over here. And then from here, you can choose any kind of view you want. So in here, you'll have a summary view, a timeline view, a board view, calendar view, a list view, a forms view, and issues right here. So feel free to choose what kind of view you want to use. But for me, I'm really comfortable in using the board view since this one is the most easiest to understand. So here you go. So in here, we have our statuses. So the statuses right here are the video ideas, the to-do, in progress, in review, and done. So what we want to do here is to create our tasks. So to create a task, just simply click on create issue right here, and then just simply add the name of your task. So since this video ideas, so make a video about how to use Jira software. So there you go, you can create that task right there and then when you click on this task you'll get to see the details of your task right here um, so in here you can add the description to your task right here as well if you want to so what you can do is also type in slash AI which will just usually allow you to use their AI so generate video ideas on how to use Jira there you go and then there you go you can tell AI to do this so there you go. It will now start generating the ideas for you. So there you go. So this is an example of a video idea. So if you're okay with this, you can insert it or you can add additional prompts to your liking. So for me, I'll just insert it. And then there you go. We now have a description right here for our task. So at the top right here, you can also edit out your description right here, like the text styles, make it bold, italicize it, change the text color, add some lists, add an action item, some links, add images or video files, mention your team right here, add emojis, add a table, code snippets, and insert elements. And then once you're done, just simply click on save. And there you go. Now at the bottom of that, you can also add comments right here. 
So you can type any comments right here. So I'll just add comment as an example. And there you go, we have now added a comment. Um, so in here, in activity, you'll get to see everything right here. So again, you'll get to see the comments right here, the history. So in history, you'll get to see everything that's been done within this task. And you'll also get to see the work log. At the right side over here, you can also move this um, task right here to another status. So you can move this to in progress, in review, to do, and done. You can also add actions right here as an example. So you can add like automations and etc. Next are pin fields, so you can add fields right here as well. You can also add details right here for your task, so you can assign this task to other people. So for example, I'll just assign this to myself, and then there you go. Next is you can also add labels, add um, parent tasks, add a team. What you can also do is create a branch as well, or create a commit. So this is basically more on coding, and then yeah. And then once you're done configuring your task, you can just simply exit out of here. Next at the top right here is you can also change it to no restrictions or add restrictions. Add voting options. You can also share this task right here if you want to. You can also check the more actions right here and you'll get to see some other details right here. Settings that you can use in using Jira, like adding flags, parents, moving it, clone it, archive it, or delete it. You can print it as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The basics on how to configure tasks right here within Jira. Okay, so once you're done, you can now exit out of here. So the simplest way to use this board view right here in Jira is that you can just move your task around. So let's say you're now done generating the video idea. You can move this into the to-do list. So there you go. So once your team right here has seen this task right here and they're assigned to it, they can move it to in progress if they are currently doing this task. So once is it, and then once they're done doing the task, they can move it to in review. So in here, you'll get to review the task that they have done. And then once they're, and then once you approve their task, you can just simply move it to done right there. And then there you go, the task has now been done. So yeah. And then what you can also do is create additional tasks right here if you want to. Moving on, if you want to add additional columns right here, you can do so just by clicking on this plus button. So let's just create a column. There you go. And then let's just add like a canceled column right here. So this is where all the canceled tasks go. And there you go. And if you want to edit out the column, just simply go to the column that you want to edit. Click on the three dots right here. And then you can select the column limit, move it to the left, and etc. Then what you can also do is drag this column around if you want to move it somewhere else. Next, if you want to invite people within your um, project right here, what you can do is just simply go to add people right here. There you go. And then you can just simply add the names or emails of the team that you want to add right here within your project. So just simply add their emails right here or their name, or you simply add them from Google, from Slack, or from their Microsoft account. The next is you can also set their roles right here. So you can set their roles as an, as an administrator or as a viewer. And then once you're done, you simply click on add, and then an invite link will be sent to that person. Next is we have search right here. So in here, you can search up tasks right here. So if you have a lot of tasks right here within your project, so you can just search up tasks right here to make things easier for you. So yep, so there you go. What you can also do is also group tasks right here. So you can group them by assignee, by subtasks, and etc. What you can also do is check the board insights. Also some view settings right here. So you get to see, um, um, you can do is open the issues in the sidebar, linked issues, you can also, um, view some fields right here like the issue type the issue key and etc at the top right here so you can also rename your board right here so i'll just rename this as kanban board there you go next at the right side over here so you can create automations but this one's a bit more advanced you can also add this to your start you can also share this board if you want to you can also full screen it start stand up if you want to and then these three dots right here allow you to manage your workflow manage custom custom filters and configure the board and then there you go moving on let's move on to the left side over here so we have checked out all the views right here so again we have the summary view right here so in here we'll get to see a summarized view of our project so in here we'll get to see our status overview the recent activity the priority breakdown types of work and the team workload and then at the top right here you'll also get to see all the completed tasks right here in the last seven days updated created and due soon then you also have a timeline view right here as well. Again, we have the board view, calendar view, the list view, forms, goals, and issues. 
So if you want to add additional views right here within your board, what you can do is just simply click on add view. Then you can add other views right here like backlogs. So there you go, you can add that as well. Then when we go to backlogs, we can add our backlogs right here. So yeah, feel free to add additional views if you want to. Next is we have project pages. And then from here, you can add anything right here within your project pages. So you can just simply click on try it now. Let's just next all of these. And there you go, we will now start setting up our project pages. So this should take less than a minute. So just wait for this to finish uploading. And then there you go, we now have our project pages right here. So just simply add your page or title. So let's just name this as title page. And then there you go. So in here you can add any ideas right here that you want within your project. So for example, just add project ideas right here and blah, 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 blah. So yeah. And then once you're done, just simply click on publish. And there you go, the page has been published. So we can now exit out of here. And then when we go to project pages right here, we will get access to this page. So yeah, there you go. So we can go to the title page right here. And there you go, we'll get to see the title page. So within your title page, people can react right here to the page that you've made and also add comments. Next is you can also add shortcuts. So in adding shortcuts, what you can do is just simply add a shortcut or repository. So if you want to add a shortcut, just simply click on add shortcut right here. And then you can add the web address and the name of the website in which that shortcut will redirect you to. Next is we have project settings. So here you'll get to see some project settings right here for your project. So you can rename the project right here, change the project key, choose a category, change the project leader, and the default assignee. You can also change some access settings right here within your project, change some notification settings as well, some board settings, and some apps. So feel free to view all of these settings out. And there you go. At the top right here, you see you have filters. So in here, you can view all the filters right here across your project. You also have dashboards right here, teams. So in here, again, you can invite people right here to Jira, check out the plans, and check out the apps that you can use to integrate within Jira. And then moving on at the top right right here, so you'll also get to see the notifications. So we get to see all the no notifications right here within your project. They also have a help section right here. So if so if you have a hard time um, navigating around Jira, you can search up some help articles right here as well. Then you'll also have your settings right here. So you can change your account settings, some system settings, and etc. Then you also have your profile right here so you can manage your account, change some personal settings, changing the theme. So let's just change it into dark mode. There you go. And then what you can also do is log out of your account. And then after that, you are pretty much done. So yeah. That's pretty much it on the basics on how to use the Jira software. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tech tips. That is all.